Hey guys, Sigmata here, and we're back with another video. This one's going to be about the differences between Marth and Lucina. And we've got TG's Air Vault on to discuss. So, Vault, what's the what's this question here? What are we talking about? Why? What's this big difference between Marth and Lucina? We're trying to discover why why is Marth done so much better at the regional, national level, the top level play, where Lucina has been questionably absent. Right. I mean, you see uh, Marth's like MK Leo. Uh, of course, just winning Genesis 4 with other characters, but with a lot of Marth. And then you see Pug West, Mr. E, and some other Marth springing up and doing really big time work at regionals and nationals. And Lucina, you're right, you don't see a whole lot of her. So let's start with what's objectively different about them. People know that Lucina doesn't have tippers, Marth has a sour spot, Marth has tippers. From the, her hilt to the tip of her sword, Lucina's damage is constant. Uh, she's slightly shorter, um, and her damage is about the middle of Mars' sour spot and tip. The only two moves that tip, quote-unquote, is down smash and down air for spiking or horizontal hitbox purposes. There are subtle other differences between them, but they're not relevant. Like, one will slightly farther off the ledge than the other, etc. like that. It seems to me like Lucina might be easier to space with in a lot of matchups. Obviously, the fact that her uh, sword has no sour spot means that she's going to be able to zone out in a lot of matchups against characters that are very fast, like uh, Diddy Kong, Sheik, Fox, those kinds of characters, and she might have a better chance at zoning them out, whereas Marth, if you get those sour spots, you're going to be in a lot more trouble than being able to get that big damage with those sweet spots. Is that right? Uh, I mean, it's more or less correct. Ideally, if the Marth is perfect, he has more safe on shield pressure than Lucina, but we're human, we all make mistakes. So when the Marcina makes a mistake, Lucina will have more of a chance to get away without a punish. That means it'll have less time to react, even though the moves will be punishable. But just depending on how much of a punish they'll get, um, it's probably is most time less for Lucina, ignoring power shields, of course. Right, right. So let's talk about those specific differences again. You, you mentioned height. Does that matter ever? The only time it matters is on battlefield, where the enemy is, uh, enemy is standing on the lower set platform. Marth can force smash and tip um, if he wants to go for that option. Lucina doesn't have that option. The force smash simply doesn't hit. Okay, well. That's uh, obviously Mars 4 Smash is incredibly powerful, so that's a nice option to have, but at the end of the day, seems like a somewhat minor thing to have Marth have that, and Lucina doesn't, and it's still only one stage. So let's, let's go to talk about their neutral game. Does that mean that Marth has a better neutral? By my experience and playtesting, they both have the same pressure and safe on shield presence regardless with, uh, of Mars' tip bonus of a shield push. Uh, the neutrals are played basically identical. They're trying to bait you into a move and hit you, or just pressing to shield and then read your option. Okay. They're just trying to get that first hit. Okay. Makes sense. So still basically the same there. But uh, let's look at combo games. Martha and Lucina weren't really known for combos too much at the beginning of Smash 4, but nowadays they've got a few combos. They've got their down throw stuff. Just, I'm assuming their grab combos are pretty much the same, right? That has nothing to do with their sword. Their grabs are identical. Um, their grab co their combos, their initial hits out of, gr out of throws is identical. Uh, these same percentage of when it works, works for both characters. Where their combo game differs, past like the 40%, 50% mark into the mid percents, where Lucina's constant damage becomes a detriment to combos, where the enemy flies too far to get the next hit. Um, Marth can deliberately not tip a move, and then follow up with a tip move, so he goes non-tip to tip deliberately, and Lucina doesn't have that option. The only thing she can do is hit with the hilt hit, and then hopefully they don't fly far enough to hit but it's not guaranteed like some of the Mars constraints will be. But how practical is that really to be constantly swapping between your sour spots and sweet spots? It, it seems like that may not be all that practical in a match where 
We've got characters moving around, sometimes even stages moving around, like a town and city platforms, a Smashville platform, like stuff like that. So it seems like it may not be all that useful sometimes. Practical, it may not be the most like safe or practical option, but it's one of those mix-ups, well, if you go for it, you're going to get a big reward for doing it. Um, you could fair, fair train people is a thing you can do, but the risk, you, you're deliberately not tipping, so you're not doing as much shield stun if they if they actually shield it, so you're going to get punished easier. Okay, so potentially bigger combos for Marth, and obviously, therefore, bigger damage if you can get those combos. So, let's talk about edge guarding and especially gimping. So, what separates them apart here? Well, the idea for gimping is... Either you want them to not be able to recover at all, or you want them to be dead. Like, you hit them and they go off the blast zone and they die off the side. Lucina has a better shot at doing the first option, which works against 90% of the cast, where they simply can't recover anymore. Because a move that constantly pushes them back, that's really strong, is what you want. So in that regard, Lucina is better at gimping if she can keep hitting them. But if you come across Bayonetta or Zero Suit, no matter how many times you hit them, they have a strong chance of coming back regardless. Uh, she could, could possibly get free damage, but they won't die. At the same percent where she's trying to gimp them and they're almost dying, but if Marth would have tipped that move, it would have killed them outright. Makes sense. So, it sounds like Marth is better at edge guarding characters with good recoveries. Lucina, better at... Um, Gimping characters that uh, have more reasonable recoveries. Overall, Pilot Scene has a better gimp game in that regard, and ledge guard, and ledge game, ledge pressure game. Because at that, being that close to ledge, you don't need a tip to kill. You just want a strong hit, and that's where Lucina like has advantage over Marth in that in that way. Right, that makes sense. So then, let's talk about. What, what really is making Marth better. So we've said a lot of things here that, to be honest, makes them sound fairly equal, but why is Marth doing better? So there's gotta be something that's setting him apart. Basically, the guaranteed kill options or the ability to seal the stock at the end at a reasonable percent. Um, reasonable meaning not 150 when up throw kills. You don't, that's your last resort as a Marcina. You don't want that to happen unless you happen to not be able to kill them because they DI'd or you only got poke hits and they just didn't kill and you just happen like, okay, they're 0 one 50 I'm going to get the up throw. But you don't deliberately go for that. That's, you know, a game with two socks and rage, that's too risky and it's too much effort in the neutral and you could you know, just die on the crackback. Yeah, um, exactly. The Marth has against every single weight class, guaranteed kill options out of his jab. Period. It doesn't matter if they're at one, t if they're a hundred percent at the ledge and you get a jab. They, sh it depends on the weight class. They should be close to being dead, or they should be dead. From jab four tilt, jab Leo blade, the, Leo, the the four four down four dancing blade on the heavies, or jab into four air tip, or jab into up tilt tip baby I in. Um, depending on the rage and the like, slight percents of around 100, that'll simply just kill. Lucina has those same options, except the, the dancing blade one, because they pop out too far. But like the jab forward tilt, jab forward air, jab up air, that all works with Lucina too. They don't kill them. They don't, they don't, they don't kill to about 25% higher than Bart. But doesn't that require a lot of uh, tech skill to be able to use those jabs into those tipper hits from Marth? It does, but we're talking about at the top level when that is almost a requirement to be able to compete. Sure. So at that level, the Marth should know how to do that, how to perfect pivot into jab, how to know exactly what follow-up you should do at those percents of against those characters. As we see with MK Leo, he just does it and they die. It almost doesn't flub unless he doesn't call their DI correctly. As you go up in level at the Pug West, Mr. Ian, MK Leo level, the Marth is going to tip more often on more moves in neutral and on combos. Right. So the damage output and the, the punish game from Marth is going to be uh, more consistent as you are at these regional and national level players. 
So then, big picture, it's just starting to look like Marth has more options. But I know that Lucina does have some other kill options. Like, her forward smash may not be Marth's like your dead at 30 forward smash, but it's still very powerful. Yeah, and there are guaranteed ways to make it work. I, I be on the receiving end of it. It's just it's more of a commitment to make it work. She can't do jab forward smash. Um because uh, it falls into the same style that Mars falls. Like, the DI out, you're not going to get the hit. Um, but they can do Shore Hop, Dancing Blade, Nair 1 into Forward Smash. The Nair 1 uh, links into Forward Smash, guaranteed. Okay. But that requires you to do the Jab, Dancing Blade 1, which is a 9 frame option, versus if you could just dash your opponent per and pivot into Jab, that's like a 5 frame option. It's just, and, and that's safer than going for Dance Blade 1 in the air. Because you don't have to jump. Around the 100% mark where they're at a position where they could die um, from a reasonable follow-up, Marth has the edge. And if you're against someone that's really good at not getting grabbed, say they're at like 150, and they just won't get grabbed, they don't space against your grab attempt every time. Uh, Lucian just won't kill without quite a bit of rage to kill cross stage, that just won't happen. Right. Um, Marth can tip Nair and kill cross stage with mild percent, with mild rage like 60% at the 140 mark. He doesn't have to get the grab to, uh, to do the up throw. He can just hit you with his spacing moves to kill you. If you're against Lucario or Ryu or Zero Suit or some, someone that takes advantage of, of rage really well, you could die at like 50 or less just because you can kill him fast enough. Yeah. You can't afford to let people live long in Smash 4. Yeah, and with two stock meta and that rage being a factor, it's um, it's just a it's a detriment to Lucina to live live that long. And Barth with rage is really scary because he can still combo with the sour spot into into tip hit. Lucina can't do that with a rage. Her her combos simply don't work anymore. Uh, most of them anyway. Right. Um, and the big moves from Barth will kill at unbelievably low percents. Uh, versus Lucina will kill pretty low, but not nearly as not nearly as low as Marth, where uh, like like forty percent versus seventy percent, she won't be able to steal games or come back in as many games as he could possibly come back from. Not that she can't at all, though. True. Well, I mean, you've sold me. I think that Marth just has the more options that he needs to be able to compete at that higher level. Lucy is a very underrated character, simply because there's not a lot of representation. There might be the MK Leo or the Mr. E of the Lucinas, but as of right now, we haven't seen um, high level representation of the character to see how she would do. But this is what's going on, I believe, right now. Okay, well, thank you so much, Vault, for your time. Really appreciate it, and we look forward to uh, all of the coming AZ tournaments. Good luck. Thank you. Glad to be here.